If you come out to exit 3 of Zoshigawa Station on the Fukutoshin line and turn left, you will find yourself on this elevated section. It's obviously some bridge of some sort. Um, there's a tramway below and a rather busy road. In fact, it's two bridges. This is the Chitozebashi or Chitose Bridge. And there's a smaller bridge which is called the Chitose Kobashi. Uh, it literally means Chitose Small Bridge. Now, if you get yourself down to the level of the road running under the bridge, you'll see that it's actually quite an impressive structure. The two bridges, Chitozebashi and Chitose Kobashi, were started in 1932 and completed in 1933 and opened in September of that year. Now the smaller bridge, Hitose Kobashi, actually replaced a wooden structure which was built over the Arakawa tram line as it was then, now it's the Tokyo Sakura line, um, which was opened in 1911. It's of a steel girder design and is pretty much unremarkable, especially when compared to its bigger neighbour. Now the reason for all this bridge building activity in 1932 was that after the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake, uh, the city fathers decided to come up with a new plan for Tokyo. And here is one of those founding fathers, the director of civil engineering for Tokyo, Ryosuke Kijima, with a couple of his workers thrown in for good measure. They decided that Tokyo needed a ring road, now known as Meiji Dori. At this point where Meiji Dori was to cross Meiji Road Dori, don't confuse the two, um, they decided to build Tokyo's first grade separated junction, um, which simply means the traffic is kept apart by going through at different levels, so they needed a bridge. The design chosen for this bridge was a two-hinged steel arch bridge, which at the time gave a comparatively long span, which meant you could have these two wide lanes of traffic passing underneath it, and it would have looked very futuristic um, compared to the narrow streets of Tokyo at the time. If you want to see some photographs of the construction and the completed bridge, as it was back in 1933, I suggest checking out the website linked to below this video. Now the website is all in Japanese, but there are 12 or so pictures showing the two bridges in various stages of construction, as well as a completed photo as it was in 1933. And it's well worth taking a look if you're interested. Now the lamps or lights you can see on this video um, are in the Art Deco style and you can still see some of the clean lines of this style in the handrails on the staircases and on the slope linking the two levels. And the bridge still retains some of its original charm. And in fact in 1990 it was given a kind of protection by Tokyo City as being a beautiful bridge that was worth preserving. You may have noticed some construction work between the two bridges and this is where they're building the Zoshigawa Tunnel. Now this is a road tunnel um, which forms part of the Tokyo Ring Road uh, project on the new Tokyo Ring Road project um, which will either widen or divert traffic off the original Meiji Dori. The tunnel they are building here actually passes under all of this um, but above the Fukutoshin line. No mean feat of engineering.
So, what is there to do on the Chitose Bashi or the Chitose Kobashi? Well, you could go tram spotting on the Tokyo Sakura line. Not really my thing. Oh look, is that an 8800 series? Oh, I'm sure that's an 8900. Oh, and here comes another 8800. And if that's not your kind of thing, um, then it's just quite a nice bridge. Oh, but there is one more thing. Running parallel to the tram line and the Meiji Dori running down the hill is this rather unassuming slope, which is actually called the Nozaki Zaka. Now, fans of the 2019 animated film Weathering With You, which Japanese title, Tenki no Ko, may recognize this as one of the locations used in the movie. I'd recommend not walking too far down it, as you do have to walk back up it. What do you think? If you have any comments or observations, please leave them below. And thank you for watching.